Live from the Daily Bugle. <laughs> what? Hi, how's it going everyone? So today we are playing a Cerebro 3 Disruptor deck. What is interesting about this is that I've been trying out this deck for the entire day and we haven't even barely touched Cerebro, man, to be honest. Usually when you imagine Cerebro deck is that you flood the board early on and turn 6 you drop your Cerebro and Mystic to buff your cards up. But what happened here is that we are so disruptive we don't even get to play our Cerebro. Our opponent just quits very early on because in rank right now there's a lot of like combo decks and then there's a lot of Galactus decks. Way too much Galactus decks man. And all of our tools here are primed to destroy them because we can establish advantage very early on with these small superheroes, small creatures. We get the initiative and once we have that we are golden. We can just drop Cosmo to prevent him from activating. Galactus can no longer destroy the world. And we also have our Shang-Chi to deal with their now death and everything. And we have like Leech to remove Galactus ability, remove now ability as well. Spider-Man to disrupt Galactus. If Galactus manage to drop, we can play this on turn 5 and then we can prevent our opponent from playing cards on turn 6. And we have our Professor X to lock down lanes. It's absolutely insane. It's, it's crazy how many games you know we fought against Galactus and we won. You should see the, the gameplay. It's, it's fun man but unfortunately for some reason I think Cerebro 3 Disruptor doesn't really work very well like Cerebro I, I can't flood the lane fast enough to be able to activate with Cerebro so usually when I reach the end game I feel that I don't have enough cards on the lane where I can use Cerebro on turn 6 with Mystic to truly win the game because like early on our flooding power is not like our ability to flood the board is not that great, so I'm not quite sure whether this Cerebro deck is the best Cerebro, but overall disruptive capabilities is insane. Ah, uh, I feel that this deck right, might be a bit too expensive to play. Like I can never really pull off like Cerebro. Like I win more by disrupting my opponent, making them retreat, instead of <laughs> winning through Cere no, winning through Cerebro, right? I think we should try and develop Cosmo into the left hand side to prevent him from activating any anything, right? I think that's the point. Ah oh, shit, he might lock us down with Professor X, man. This is uh, uh, annoying. And this hit. Uh. I kind of know where he's going. So what we will do is we will do this and we will do this. We'll, we need to try and establish dominance here. And I think what we will do here is we will just Professor X, right? He can't play here, he can't play here. Wait, I can't play here. Oh shit. Huh, then what are we doing here? He can't play anything, right? Oh no. You will know. I think that's the problem. Uh I don't have to play anything now, right? That's the thing. Because to be honest, where is he gonna play? He's playing Galactus, right? But he can't play on Cosmo. So I'm very confused right now actually. And I can't... Sh okay, I know what he's gonna do. Yeah. So I'm gonna take the risk and do it here. Because I win, right, at the end of the day. If I eat his Galactus. Yup. Everybody is playing Galactus! Whoa. I can't believe I'm playing this Cerebro deck and I haven't played a single Cerebro yet. I'm just winning through our disruption cards man. I should have snapped, but it's alright. You, you can never be sure. You might be trying to, you know, 5 hit us, right? Trying to put uh, what now or Goblin or whatever. I don't know. Whatever cards they got, they're, they're gonna play. Live from the Daily Bugle. <laughs> what? 
What? What? What the fuck? Guys. Guys. What the heck is this? Okay. He can't play here, he can't play here, so he will play here. Pretty straightforward, I guess. Um, I just do this. I think we should just snap, right? Yeah, we can we, we can we can just snap here, I think. Hmm. Unless he changed this location, there's, there really isn't a way for him to win this. Yeah. I think we are in a pretty good spot. <laughs> he got my bleed. I think he just started playing this deck, right? That's why. <laughs> uh. I think what we can do is we can do this. Try and lock it down. You can't do anything really. <laughs> we are just literally slaying every single character stack out there, right? <laughs> okay, that's fine. Here. We, we got the better end of the, end of the deal because we managed to pull out his Shang-Chi. But at the end of the day, we don't even reach past nine. We don't even get past nine actually. So, eh, doesn't really matter. I kind of scared of Enchantress, so I'm not gonna play Cerebro. Should I just play one more? I think I should be able to win, right? Then turn 5, we can just go with... Ooh... We must have played like... Okay, I think that was there's no way we can win that. I mean, but that's pretty good. We can just Shang-Chi. This should be quite a straightforward thing. So what we can do is we can... We can do this. And then we can do this. Okay. We, hopefully we don't have the advantage here. Okay. We still don't have it. So that's good. So I think what we do here is we Shang-Chi we drop this here. I don't think it can penetrate that lane anymore, right? Which is good for us. I think that should be good enough. I just, I mean, I don't really have to pray that it, it reach, reaches 9. It's gonna reach 9, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, Sarah, some more. Wait, I realized something. He can't play anything here. Okay, that that's a problem. That's a huge problem. Maybe Mystic would have been the better play. Mystic Sentinel. But I mean, he could be playing a huge card, so you never know. Okay, I mean, I suppose at the end of the day, we, we still managed to, to hit him. Not, not too bad. We managed to close it out. Even though I kind of forgot about this, like I saw this and I realized, oh, it this is like locking him down, then I completely forgot about it later on. <laughs> but it's not too bad, we won, we won, that's fine, all good. Okay, that's fine. It's not a big deal, it's alright. Uh, not fantastic. I think we put a Baron model on the left hand side. What is he playing? What is he playing? I think he's gonna benefit 
more than me so i just gonna drop this here yep i will just oh shit this is tough man i want to play this as the last card Okay, I think I want to lock, the, lock down this area at least, at, at the minimum. Here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we are good. Um, we can do this here. <laughs> he kind of locked himself in, isn't it? What the heck? Now he can't play anything. literally useless okay i think we can win here it's pretty straightforward i mean it's kind of late but it's all right i think he might have the same cards as us so we are just equalizing the playing field right if he has patriot then i think we have we have a good chance of losing yeah because patriot is gonna buff this too right okay okay we are safe we are safe we should have snapped earlier but i think I wasn't very familiar with my deck. I was okay. We have Sentinel. You know the the Sentinel that we got from like last season pass. I mean, it looks cool, Steampunk Sentinel. But I I don't know the this still looks the best. Like it's insane. Like you have two characters inside as well. Okay. Let's drop this here. Let's see what he plays. The good thing here is that it can cost more if he has Galactus or something. Okay, he's he's running something like a hmm. That kind of sucks. I can't draw any cards. But it's alright. We have the advantage, so hopefully we can disrupt that from happening. Let's go. <laughs> This is pretty good. Should I just Mystic again? Kind of tempting to do it. You can just do a Sentinel and Bleed kind of push. Yeah. Maybe I should just Mystic. Uh, I can to stop that from happening. It's alright, he, lock, he, he locks us in, I think it's fine. I think we can do this. It's... 4 power should be enough, right? Uh, we did the same thing. I think this should be sufficient to push ourselves all the way to the top. I'm quite surprised though, he's playing a Spider-Man in such a interesting deck. I suppose he's playing some sort of lane lock thing, right? Because he's locking with Viper, Hood, Black Widow, and Hand Disruption. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, I think we are bound to lose that part either way. Okay, you can snap here. I think we have a decent chance. Because there was no way he can attack here, right? Unless he has the baby shark thing. But baby shark hasn't come out yet. Okay. I think we will play Blade Lash, right? Maybe we can consider playing Bar Barrel Molo twice. Nah, I think we need to develop. We can't play Barrel Molo twice. We need to penetrate this lane. And I think we can just drop Professor X on the left hand side, right? Yeah, that seems to work fine. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I think we can try and lock it down first. Try and lock down his 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 lane. Then we can just go with. Uh. Oh my god! <laughs> Thank God, man. Victory. I wasn't expecting that. What the fuck? Oh my god, that was so close.